Oh yeah, my favorite time of day on a Friday, every day in fact. It is time for today's Is This Anything with our boys over at WIBC, Hammer and Nigel joining us now. Looking Hello. fantastic. How you guys doing? Awesome. Happy Friday. Yes, TGIF, baby. All right, let's dive right in. An Ohio driver says, keep your windows up after invading cicadas caused him to yeah. crash. Actually, a few of these bugs, these gooey bugs crashed into my windshield yesterday. Oh, it was disgusting yeah. how to get a car wash. Big Nige, <laughs> this anything, but look at that damage. It's awful. Yeah, I'm glad the kid's okay, and I can't make fun of him at all because I'd be the same way driving down 465 if it's a cicada. I don't care what it was, a cicada, a spider, a bat, an ant, a bat, a uh, hornet got into my car, and I'm driving <laughs> along. I, I, I'm causing a 50-car pileup, driving all over the, I'm <laughs> Freaking out. I don't care. Cicadas are awful, gross, disgusting creatures. I don't know how anybody eats these things. Yeah. We've done a few stories about people eating cicadas. And by the way, you know what the one thing that cicadas and my co-host Jason Hammer have in common, right? Wow. They never shut up. <laughs> oh! I was going to say, oh, oh, beady red yeah, eyes, but no, Hammer has beautiful eyes. So <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is something, and uh, I'm glad the kid's okay, but I would have done the exact same thing. Oh, they're so gross. I went to the Starbucks oh. drive through and there was a little tiny spider that dangled as I put my, and the lady <laughs> straight up thought I was having a seizure. I was like, ah! And I just drove. I didn't crash. Thankfully, I was stopped, but I'm in the same boat. So thankful. I'm happy that everybody was okay. All right, Hammer, a new report from the Better Business Bureau shows Americans lost big last year in sweepstakes and lottery scams. Is this anything? Oh. Yes, this is something, and there's only one person to blame, that no good lion Nigerian prince. Because <laughs> the Nigerian mean, prince has been promising, promising us millions of inheritance dollars, lottery dollars, prizes, fortune for a long time. And I've replied to every single one of those emails, Mackenzie. I haven't missed a one. And I've only had my information hacked 17 times, so I think I know what I'm talking about I'm here. telling you, any yes. message that starts with, hello, dear, eh, red flag. My favorite one I got, and this was a true story, I got a email from the Nigerian prince who said he was going to give me his fortune. I was his only heir because he was passing away from knee cancer. <laughs> Classic. Knee cancer. Classic. True story. And mm. you fell for it. I'm still waiting for my money. <laughs> like, I don't know if I have to call the attorney general or whatnot, but if I ever see the Nigerian prince, we're going to have problems. Oh, man. The sad thing is a lot of folks do fall for these, and they do get scammed. But we're trying to help yeah. the people right now. This is like a little PSA announcement, right? Hammer and Nigel's campaign to help fight knee cancer <laughs> needs to be started immediately. <laughs> All right, we'll start making the t-shirts. You guys are awesome. Have a great weekend. Thank you as always. We'll do it again on Monday.